What's your defense to your obligation to the landlord that she took over for you? Because you have an obligation to the landlord. Yeah, and as I was waiting for a bill to for her to talk. Well, she to paid the bill for you. Okay, and I'm happy to hear it. But I didn't wasn't really. So now you have to pay her the bill, unless we agree that you're evicted. Yeah, yeah and that, that I still feel that's I, a strong I, two I, reasons. Yeah. You know so what? You, I don't want to hear another word about your constructive addiction, except to tell me what she said to your daughter, because I don't think this was simply a situation where. You guys were incompatible. I think you're self-centered. I think you are selfish, and I think you took advantage of her. You say she yelled at your daughter. I want to hear about those circumstances. On a Saturday morning, my daughter was sitting 13 years old, you know, staring at the iPhone and being a 13-year-old, not being communicative, and Shauna took her on herself to confront her about it, and I didn't appreciate that. What did she say when she confronted her? I don't recall her exact words, something to the effect of, what are you doing on your iPhone? Fine, I'll just leave you alone, and she stormed out of the room, but a little bit of like... <laughs> so is it your position that your roommate, who, by the way, moved out of an apartment where I think you were just fine... I was very happy. Uh, and then moved in so she wasn't you doing all me a could favor be together. Movie. Oh, well, you know what? You better stop, because I saw the evidence. You were in bad shape. I'm not going to embarrass you. You wrote her a text message that she submitted in February talking about your problems, your addictions, your bad place. She bailed you out. You ended it with you're a good person. You needed her. This was not a I we're trying to help each other out. You needed her. So stop making it sound like she was such a bad person because she did yoga. She gave you a place to live. I think it's outrageous. So just stop it with the constructive addiction. It's nonsense. What's the evidence of the utilities? I see cleaning fees, household bills, $256 in utilities? Yes, because some of the utilities were billed after. So some of them were actually from February and then- Yeah, I mean, the there's a lag in the yeah. billing. I gave the bank records of me paying them and I did send that all to him and I have it all on the spreadsheet as well. What was the situation with his daughter? Okay, so I was sitting at the art bench. What I did when I was out there was art because I taught a healing art um, happy hour for people in COVID. And I was out there working on something. And so she was sitting, she was concerned about me seeing what she was looking. She's 13. She's yeah, she yeah. Her phone. And, I, and I can't even see that far. So I just didn't want her to be concerned and make her feel like she had to sit like this. And I just said, I can't see what you're doing from here. You know, don't worry about it. And I didn't le storm out of the room. I didn't yell. Yeah, I mean, perhaps I haven't described it. Do you know what a constructive <laughs> eviction is? When they make that means it's untenable. Did you want to go back to the place you were when you sent her that email? So for you to come to court and suggest that she's evil because she had loud Zoom meetings and you shouldn't have to pay rent? That is selfish, it's self-absorbed, and it's entitled. I've got nothing further. Well, on that note, then we're going to excuse the both of you while we deliberate in this matter. I expect to see you both shortly. This court is again in session. Well, you two are like vinegar and oil. You just don't blend. So we looked at the evidence, and we don't, we don't see our way clear to your position at all, Mr. Sickle. We actually think maybe she had more grounds for constructive eviction than you did, but we are unanimous in finding that you are entitled to recovery on your complaint, not to the extent that you've asked for, but pretty close. You are entitled to your unpaid rent, which you owe her 658 for because she covered that bill with the landlord in an amount a little over $1,300. You're also entitled to your $256 for the household bills. As to the cleaning fees, had you been there, you would have had to contribute something to cleaning, so we gave you half of that bill, which would be $90. That means that you would be entitled to $1,004. However, the landlord has returned to you a check for the amount of $476, reflecting the return on your security deposit that was unused. It's in your name and her name, so she can't cash the check or do anything with it. We're going to reduce the amount owed to her by $238. You'll sign the check, and so, ma'am, your recovery will be $766 plus the $238 from the security deposit return. So you'll get that whole check. And that's the verdict of the court. It's unanimous, by the way.